hello guys welcome to my youtube channel focus academic solution today we'll be discussing about how to choose a scale in 2022 by egg physics practical and this is very important to all science students practical is one of the important things we should not miss and today i'll be dwelling on physics practical and i'll also be dropping some other videos some videos on other particles and based on on curves like that so let's talk about how to choose a scale i know that some students find it difficult to choose a scale whenever it comes to join a curve and that is why i've come with this video to explain the simplest way on how you can choose your scale perfectly without making any mistake and my next video, I'll be explaining the graph itself, how to plot a graph perfectly without making any mistakes. I'd like you to watch this video to the end and drop a comment to know more, 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 and more about podcast video. Thanks for following, and let's follow. Okay, now this is how your graph will look like. On the vertical axis, I think there, there are 10 boxes there. And on the horizontal, sorry, on the vertical axis, there are 12 boxes. And on the horizontal, there are 10. In each box, there are 10 smaller boxes there. That makes it 2 units. That makes it 2 centimeters. That means if I'm having 20 boxes, that's, that's 4 centimeters for the graph. So, you want to take my readings that's what is instruction is very important whenever it comes to particle physics you read your instruction very well before you start doing anything so let's look at the first table in this video i have four different tables to explain how to choose a scale four different tables with, with different readings in them to explain how to choose a scale okay now the first table is talking about plot a graph of that's mass in grams against inverse of distance in centimeter is per minus one so the serial number is just six for this we have 50 70 90 110 130 and 150 and on the value of that so you are uh, you think of what kind of scale can you find all these values so that is why and you should know how to give your graph a title so who can tell me what this graph, the graph title will be? So the graph title should be a graph of mass in gram against what inverse of distance. So that's the graph title. And the scale will be 2 cm to represent 20 units on mg axis. And 2 cm to represent 0 0.01 units on distance inverse axis. That's for this first table. So you can look at... The scale choosing for this first table we make use of 20 centimeters. That is in each line. Let me go back to my graph. So that means in each line of the graph, I will have 20, 40, 60, 80, and so on. So I can easily locate this value from there. Okay, the next table. So I'm having that was on resistance in ohms against length inverse. So the value of the resistance says 30, 20, 10, 5, 10, and 1. So the graph title of these two is a graph of R that in ohms. You must put unit. It's very important to please your unit whenever you're writing your title on your scale. Unit is very paramount. It's very important. So you are plotting a graph of R in ohms against length inverse in centimeters per minus 1. And the scale of this graph will be two centimeter represent five units on that's all as is and two centimeter to represent 0 0.01 unit on length inverse as is that is on the horizontal component we have 0 0.011 0 0.012 0 0.013 0.014 that's how you lay your scale let's look at the third table 
we are having a table of mass against distance that's why distance you can see the unit that's centimeter so same thing we have 50 70 90 120 130 and for the wires where is open to is open to eight nine and so on like that so the graph type 2 says a graph of m in gram against y in centimeter and the scale also says two centimeters represent 20 units on m gram as is and we have two centimeters to represent 0 0.1 units on y centimeter as is you can see that the scale given is is, is going accordingly with the table of Marvin. Yes, it might have some question in mind that can we approximate? Yeah, it's good to approximate your table, but I'll be explaining the part of the approximation in my next video. Sometimes approximation depends on how your table looks like. So I would like you to like this video, share to friends. In my next video, I'll be explaining how to approximate particular tables and it will affect your mark i thought trust me it will affect your mark let's look at the last table on this so we are having our end centimeter against m mm centimeter the value says 1 1.25 2.10 2.40 3.10 3 so on the m mm centimeter we have 0 0.83 1 1.35 1 1.60 2.10 so the instruction says plot m L M centimeter against M S centimeter. So what's our graph type two? We have a graph of L M centimeter against M S centimeter, and we as well have for the scale two centimeter to represent one unit on M S as is, and we have again that was um two centimeter to represent zero point five units on M S as is. So this is best way to pick out a scale for your graph. Trust me, this particle 2022, if you understand your scale very well, yeah, I commend you, you are having A in your examination. Please kindly drop your comments, like and share. Thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate you for staying to the end of my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Focus Academy Solutions.